Well, Kostelic, surely a favourite in this one. She's really come on strong the last couple of years, despite some very nasty injuries, some of those sustained in downhill. You just wonder when you see her opening the arms out and dropping low in the position, is she having some bad memories of some of those crashes? Looks fast and a long flight off the jump combined with that point one four advantage shows that Kostelic really is going for it. Very solid switch onto the left ski, a back onto the right, and she has the high line right on the limit of her abilities. Kostelic looking ragged and shaky, but she has the fast line through these turns and gets another two tenths to her credit. The advantage now right up there at 0.38 of a second. So fast through this lower section. Well, Kostelic faster than anybody. 109.1 kilometers per hour. That really is motoring. 70 miles per hour through the gun. And Kostelic seems to be loving every moment of the lower part of this course. Cranking the skis onto big angles, cutting the line off, and I believe even gaining more of an advantage. Three quarters of a second now, the mark. And Kostelic surely isn't going to put a foot wrong. She's got the shoulders down she really seems to have this race totally under control last flight presses it makes certain a soft landing and this will see off Berto in no uncertain terms Yanitsa Kostelic fastest so far here in San Sicario Hildegerg for Germany the speed specialist from the German camp. A lot of important competition titles under her belt. One which eluded her very recently, just prior to this competition. Bormio World Championship downhill. A lot of people had tipped her to win that one, but eighth was the best she could manage. So a chance at this point in her season to try to regain the honor for the German team. She has such a strong reputation in the downhill. And this is clean skiing from Gerg. She's a little ragged, but we've already seen that from some competitors as an indication of high speed skiing. There you go, 32 hundreds to find. That's definitely within Hilda Gerg's reach. Anton Kostlich down and definitely just hanging on and no more flying off these little bumps and hollows. Hilda Gerg really going for the line. Next split. Well, it's important for her and she owes, she's still in touch. The speed gun giving her 106.8 kilometers per hour. This really is quick. Kostelic ever so slightly quicker, but if Gerg can nail these final turns, she could turn the tables on the Croatian. Goes in tight, leans right in and is early into the tuck. 3800s, it's still there. She still needs to try to shave that third of a second off of her time. Gerg low with the back, the shoulders hunched, very clean in the final couple of turns. The last jump, can she nail it? Yes, the body stretch is maybe catching the air just a fraction. And over the line, it's second place. But again, time lost within sight of the line. The final jump and the final turn didn't quite go to plan. Well, a brief showing there, looks happy. <laughs> Goslic thought she'd beaten her. And possibly this is the only lady left who can turn the tables. Sweden's top star, Anja Pearson. Here she comes, looking at her in the midsection of this course. And my goodness, this is going to be a turn up for the books. 3100s, and it's the green light. Pearson flying. Now, she's come from the technical background and really hasn't excelled yet at downhill. Perhaps this is going to be her day. 132, 32, the next split is very important. Person opens the body up, makes certain of the line. It's not the fastest aerodynamically, but she doesn't care. She's cut the line off and she's gained, what, six tenths there over anybody else in the field. Janica Kostelic 
looks very edgy in the leader's enclosure as Anya Pearson now flies at this finish line and my oh my the surprise of the season Pearson delivers in San Sicario her first ever win <laughs> 